of the legs. And the other two sides of this isosceles is 6 and 6. We have a 6 meter there and 6 meter there. The length of the legs each are 8 meters. Therefore, we have that leg as 8, this one leg as 8. And that of the back stay is 12. And we have the back stay here as 12. Determine graphically the forces in all members as the load of what? Of 6 kN is needed to be lifted. That we need to lift a 6 kN load. The first step is to draw the top view and the side view. No? That would be my what? My XX line. So therefore, from here, I will try to project my XX line. Just five, 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 five. My ruler here, it's it's a five gap. That means this will be five. This will be fifty millimeters. Hundred is the one. Okay. Therefore, two spaces will be a centimeter. Therefore, let's use the scale of the centimeters. Okay? A twelve centimeter, or twelve centimeter be five would be that size, and it's the longest distance. That means the rest will be so small. If we double the longest, we are using the back stay. <laughs> if we double the distance of the back stay, it will be this size. Which that will be our back stay. Must we extend it further? Yes. 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 Triple it. Yeah. If we take it to 36, the back stay will be this long. And we can pulse it. Therefore, we are then saying, let one meter be three centimeters to triple the scale. No? Therefore, from this, we agreed that the base distance BC, it will be to that side, to the side. No? Which means according to our scale, two will then be a six. Okay? Three, four. <coughs> Then this will be 2 meters, which that will be C, and that will be B. 2 meter, 2 meter. Therefore, it will be uh, 6 centimeters, 6 centimeters, according to the scale. From here, we will then put the other two sides of 
the bass triangle. Mm -hmm. Six would then be how much? On a scale. <laughs> Pardon? Eighteen. Uh, what's gonna work? This friend of mine not gonna work. Try. Yes. Huh? It's gonna be eighty, but on my eyes. It's not gonna work, but you know you have to make it at 18. Put it there, make the arc, right? or you can put it aside. I'm assuming you're doing that. I'm going to take the shortcut and put it in this way. Right? Oh, it's now 80. Yes. <coughs> okay. It was supposed to be 6. Then it's 80. Let's do it here. There's no need for you to quantify that, eh? You can just write A, you know where A is, eh? Which is 6 by 6. Let me just make sure that I have 8. I don't have 8. You see, you said it's here, man. Unfortunately, I'm not going to hear you. Continue this here. But I know where A is now, right? Six and six. And then drop the two legs forward, right? Which will be how much and how much? Eight and eight. Eight by three would then be 24, right? Then we project, can you project? The first thing is done, we project. This is the next second. Try to be as accurate as possible. We are moving D up 
project B today, project B or C there, and project A. Is it clear? Then we come with our arc. Make an arc out of CD. Yes. We make that arc. And that arc
But then in two acts, then we join your backstage. We knew it was a 12. It should be 12. No. From there, you can then say, this would be my deed, which means I can join this. Voila, I have my top view and my side view. And we give you how many marks? Four marks. Four marks. <laughs> Two marks for the top view, two marks for the side view. Are we clear? Then this was your top view and your side view. This was for your views. Now this is the scale for what? A vector diagram. No. The scale for a vector diagram. A vector diagram comes from the 6 kN. The biggest size that we have is 6 kN. If we use 1 is to 1, 6 kN will be this size. Let's use 1 is to 2. Let 1 kN be represented by 2 cm. This is for the vector diagram. I'm going to use another color for the vector diagram. Not black. No. Black was for what? The views and the scale was there. Okay. Six kilonewtons. Just take the ruler against the back stay. There is it. Put it nicely against it and draw it down. <coughs> Should manage to draw and catch it somewhere. No. That's what we have. We are done with the vector diagram. Finish. <coughs> are we clear? The vector diagram is drawn. Let's just label this point O and Z. This is O and Z. This is point A. <coughs> this is point Z. After drawing. Is it difficult to draw the vector diagram? No. Draw your load using the scale and then drop the back step. Finish. Then we are saying this line that we have dropped here, it was the back step line. Therefore, the distance that this line is would then represent the magnitude of a force on a back step. And the length is. I think it's around 16 for me. It's around 16. And our scale was what? Our scale was... 1 is 2. Then therefore we can confirm that this line was the next day as we're dropping it. 
which means the force of the back stay, the back stay is AD, should be how much? Around 8 kilometers. Remember, you won't get the right answers because you should be accurate. For us, we beat our arms with our fingers and trying to show you how to do it. Well, enough from the book, you might get something that is perfect. Because if you did not actually construct the same way as I did, then you will then go and find the force on the legs. On the legs, you will measure on the leg. On the leg, I get how much? I get around 25. But we are saying to you, the leg was supposed to be 8. Is this leg 8? It's not 8, it was constructed. This value that you get there for a leg should be transferred to the top view because it was constructed. Therefore, this 25, where must 25 go? Here. Here is my 25. From this 25, you can do what you did there when you were constructing your, what, your vector diagram by dropping in any of the legs. Eh? Therefore, I can take this leg up. Therefore, you are allowed to take this leg up. There we are, we take a leg up to this point. And close. After closing, we can then measure. Mm -hmm. This, remember what you have constructed here. Remember it was a top view. Mm -hmm. To draw the vector diagram, you draw this to scale, the load. After drawing to scale, you draw the back stage to close. Mm -hmm. Then you measure how much is that that you're closing with. Against the scale, to get the force. This is that. Then you come to this one. This was supposed to give you, it's on the lake, this distance. Which is on the lake. It was supposed to give you the magnitude on the lake. But because it was constructed, it is not the real thing, it is not eight this leg. Where the legs are eight and perfect, they're here. We take this 25 and transfer it here on top of X. Starting from D. Can you see it sitting on D? It's on D. Starting from D to Z. That means this will be our D. And our Z will be here. Is this line on top of your X. This distance will be 25, this one. Do you agree? After you did that, you can use any of the legs to close. I'm taking this leg up and closing. Or I can take this one down and close. It doesn't matter. Do you agree? After closing, you just measure. And when we measure, according to this, I get 12. 11, 12.5. I get around 12.5. And therefore, the force, this was leg FB. BD should be 12.5 divided by 2. And I get 6.25. I know you will get the right values, not me. No? Therefore, if I have one value on one leg, I can confirm that the legs are always equal. Leg BD, the magnitude that it will carry, will be exactly the same as the magnitude leg CD will carry. That's it, but you can ask me. <coughs> yeah? Yes. yes. This and this one, Because remember, you are moving to the other side. 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 You are moving to the other side.